This is Garth Holm with TeachersForTomorrow.net, and this is part um, four, uh, sharing with teachers or uh, students your Google Doc. Um, this is part of the remote learning series. So let's just review what we looked at. We added images. We used screenshots. We put links in in three different ways, by link, by word, and by image. Last one, we talked about um, using tables making those a little bit colorful. This is probably the part that is the most confusing when you start to look at um, how to do some of this. And this is the sharing part. So when you go up to the share icon in the upper right corner, um, your default setting, I've already changed mine, I apologize, but your default setting is usually this, anyone at your domain that might be Dublin City Schools or Columbus City Schools or wherever it is you are can view that link. That probably is fine to use 90% of the time, but under the circumstances when we're living in this remote world, I would definitely change this. So you click the triangle. The triangle opens up this. And if I wanted um, like JC to edit this doc, I would... I could change it to this and say, hey, I'm going to send this, this link to JC in an email, and then he could edit. I don't want to do that. I want to go to more. And under more, I want anyone with the link can view it. Now, here's the reason I do that. Your students are at home. They're on different devices than the school provided. They could be logged in under the personal Gmail accounts. They could not be logged in at all. Um, this doesn't require them to sign in. Now, there's two things you keep in mind about this. The history is not going to show who did what. But I don't like to get the emails that say requesting access. If your kids are on different, you could get 20 emails saying I need access to this. So I always change it and trust that the kids will do what they're supposed to. Um, I only want the kids to be able to view my work. I don't want them to be able to change it too much. If I put edit, they could delete everything. They could destroy the page, whatever you want. So I might make it a view only and say save. I now have a link. And that link only lets you see the document. So when you go into it, it's only a seeable link. It's only view only, right? They can't go in and edit. Now I'm logged in as me, so I would be able to, but the kids would just be able to see this, right? And do whatever... Um, like even this, they wouldn't be able to get into this box to type, but they could view it. So if you have a series of directions that you want the kids to see, but you don't want um, them to be able to edit those directions, definitely view only. The other option you can do is when you're on this view only, when you go to more, you can change it to can comment. Now I'm going to leave mine on can comment, and I'm going to save that. And I'm going to take this link so you see it right now. And under our Google Docs, I'm going to put this link. That means you're going to be able to comment. If you want to comment and say, hey, I still don't get this or I don't understand, what that's going to do is that's going to send me an email that says, hey, somebody commented on your doc. So I'll know to go back in and look. It won't just sit there for two months and nobody will see it. I will walk you through comments before we do anything else. Once you get on here, you can literally highlight, like say you didn't get these screenshots, how to do this. You could highlight this and now add a comment. And the comment, sorry, I don't know why it's there. The comment could be, um, I am not sure how to do this on a PC. If you click comment, that comment is now embedded on the doc. I can get an email and I can come in and say, hey, I need to address this. So I can respond with you with directions, you know, and this would be the snippet tool or the snag it tool. And I can reply and it will send you an email that says, hey, Garth looked at this. He gave you a suggestion, right? Or I might give you a link or something. So um, then when I'm done and I've answered, you can come back in as the person did. You can say resolved. And that'll get rid of that comment because I sent you some kind of information. This is kind of nice if kids have questions about directions, so you'll get an email. So that's one way to kind of look at this is um, that. 
I did the outside with anyone, so let's go back and I'm going to kind of put these links here. So that's the comment link, but now I don't want people to comment. I only want them to be able to view it. So I'm going to say save. And I'm going to put that link on here. So anyone outside can view the link. So I'm going to put that link in there. So now if you go on this dock to play with it to see how it's working, if you click this link, it's going to open up the same dock, but it's not going to let you um, edit or change it. Now, um, if a kid were to go to this, it says on here to, to click the link and then file, make a copy. Those are some directions. So a kid could go on and go file, make a copy. And this will build it into their drive. So let's suppose the only thing on here, I'll cancel this and kind of walk you through. The only thing on here was this table and you told them to do it. The kid would come on, make a copy, and then they would add their information in. So that's one way you can do it as well. Um, so we talked about sharing with only people inside your organization that that's probably not the best route right now. Um, we talked about clicking on a link, making a copy, and then they would own the work. And then we did look at the comment and viewing only. So we've got comments on for you to use. The sharing seems to be the one that people will forget the most. If you get from students, I need access, blah, 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 and you make a change in here. So anyone with the link can view and you click save that is what's going to happen. They're only going to be able to view it and it'll auto change that on all the links you've already given people. So if I'm a student and I can't get access, you make that one change, I just click it again, I'm in. It's not something you have to resend or repost. So that gives us the next thing. How do we get this to kids? Usually your email, it could be one way, right? You could put the link in and send it to a group of students. The other thing you could do is in further tutorials, we'll show you um, how to build a Google site, which is a nice window to the world. It's a little bit easier than Google Classroom, although a lot of people like Google Classroom and we have tutorials to walk you through setting up a Google Classroom. Um, in this case, since I already have a Google, class, or Google Classroom, you could push this whole assignment to your Google Classroom. I could take the link and put it on a website so there's a lot you can do to get this to people. Um, if you have any questions about sharing, please let me know because that tends to be the most confusing um, about how you do it. So here's our final doc. We've done enough where you can build some pretty basic and good assignments for your students to do remotely. Have a great day.